Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about four brands that I have been eyeing for quite some time now. These are all brands that I would consider to be high value brands. From what I can tell, they offer quality and craftsmanship at really fair prices. So let me share with you which ones I've been excited about. This one here says fewer, better every day. This is the motto of Kuyana. Kuyana is the first brand that I want to talk about today. So Kuyana apparently means to love in the Quechuan language. This brand has been around for roughly about 10 years, give or take, and they are all about making fewer, simpler designs, but really good quality and versatile. So let's start with the handbags because of course we all know I'm a handbag lover. This simple tote is so, so beautiful. I feel like the leather looks buttery, buttery soft. It's got beautiful grains and I love how it has both the short top handles and the longer shoulder straps. So as you can see here, this one is in a beautiful taupe color. They have a lot of beautiful earthy neutral colors that I'm drawn to. And this one is in black. I feel like this is an easy everyday tote. I feel like it's called the small easy tote. I think that's what it's called actually. And then you've got this sort of like banana color. Beautiful, beautiful. I've been eyeing them since they're beginning the beginning of their journey and i just haven't had a chance to see their products in person but look at this one here this is the system tote and it is literally a system you can create your own tote by putting together all these little versatile highly functional pieces like a laptop cover and a little pouch so this is what it would look like potentially on the inside if this is how you wanted to configure yours again beautiful looking leather prices are all under five hundred dollars in fact everything that i show you in this uh, video all the brands most of their products are well under five hundred dollars so you can see i just put some shots here so you can tell that this is really really versatile it's really versatile and i love any kind of handbag that can be used in many different ways and i love compartments this is the mini size in navy color it just looks very soft and pretty and feminine and simple and timeless and this is one of their pouches so you can use it as a pouch. You can configure it with a bag. They're called add-on accessories. So you can really organize your tote the way you want it to. Here's a close-up of the laptop cover or iPad cover if you wanted to use it as such. Here's another little pouch, but you can use it as a clutch and you can also use it as a bag so they actually sell straps that you can mix and match so this is definitely a well thought out collection here you can also monogram so you can customize it as a gift or for yourself and this one is one of the straps i was eyeing looks really comfortable beautiful color thick here's the thinner one a little bit more dainty just gorgeous so here is the messenger style bag. This has been out for quite some time and I've been eyeing it for a while. It's got a back pocket for your phone. It's got really nice space on the inside if you wanna be hands-free. This is kind of like a medium to large size messenger bag. It's so beautiful, it's so soft looking. They also have introduced a line of clothing that looks really nice. I'm definitely eyeing some of their pieces. You guys know that I gravitate towards neutrals and simplicity and beautiful knits and texture. I am all over this and pricing again almost everything if not everything is under $500 look at this little romper it's so cute simple not overly done they also introduce a line of jewelry that's really catching my eye it's more like fashion jewelry but a lot of it is gold plated or 14k gold so just gorgeous I am definitely eyeing these earrings I wanted a simple type of earring that kind of has a drop to it and this one is calling my name, so I might have to pick these up soon. Let me know what you guys think of these. But you can see the overall collection is just has that beautiful aesthetic. There are stores all over. There are about a handful of them. There is one store downtown here in NYC, but I just haven't had a chance to go. Of course, when I do, I will bring you guys along. I will make sure that I vlog and show you all the eye candy. But I definitely have my eyes on this brand. The next brand is Songmont. This is actually a brand that many of you recommended that I check out. Their mission is all about creating high quality and practical bags for the modern woman. Song is actually the founder's name and Mont stands for mountain, which represents really the strength of the brand's values. 
So this one here is actually one of their most popular bags at the moment. It's called the Luna bag. I've had my eye on this for a little while. It's got that classic half moon silhouette, but the leather looks really soft and pliable and it can fold in, making it look like a little fortune cookie. And I know there are a lot of bags out there that have this shape, but I love the really delicate gold hardware details. I love the combination, and I love that it can actually be used as a crossbody bag as well, so it's versatile. I just think it's really, really cute, and the price point is very fair, and I love the story behind this brand. So here is a lighter color. There's actually a lot of beautiful neutral colors available. This is their chocolate bag. Looks like a bar of chocolate. It's so cute. So it comes in a variety of different colors. This one too seems to be pretty popular. Looks like a flap style bag where it's got the flap opening with the hardware detail on the front. It's got the chains with I think a leather break at the top of the shoulders so you can wear it comfortably. I don't know this one's a really fun one too here's one in kind of like an ivory cream color so definitely check out their website i'm seeing a lot of eye candy here's a close-up of the details on the front on the clasp i just think it's kind of different kind of cool it's got like a wavy design this one too is also very popular this is called their song bag and I believe it comes in a variety of different colors and sizes. The little one is really cute. It kind of reminds me of the Hermes Picotin but actually has a little bit of a nicer shape in my opinion. Also has feet on the bottom and it looks kind of well proportioned with the top handles and it can be worn crossbody with a longer strap. So I've definitely been eyeing this one for a little while now and I love the colors that they've introduced. There, there's also like a dark, dark caramel brown, which you guys know I'm obsessed with this color. So really, really pretty. And they're using fine calf leather. They give close-ups, they give details on their website. This one here is called their Tofu Bag, I believe, which is a really funny and cute name. It's got such a classic silhouette. Kind of reminds you of the Celine Classic Box Bag, right? With the smooth leather but it has this really fun hardware again it's that wavy gold hardware design on the front price is going to be a fraction of celine and this one is their latest release it's called their drippy bag which is also a cool name and it's got this beautiful suede and leather combo beautiful beautiful deep rich caramel brown color there's a pocket on the outside for your phone that slip pocket there I don't know it just kind of looks like a cool casual large slouchy bucket slash hobo style it's like a combo so it was about 10 years ago when the founder, Song, asked the question, since I can't find the right bag, why not make one myself? And her mom, who was an expert at sewing, helped her launch this brand. So her mom and her aunts and these other ladies are essentially like the engine that runs this brand, Songmont. Her mom is now 69 years old with over 40 years of experience in sewing, and she's been in charge of the pattern making for the brand. And here's a shot of the ladies. I just think this is so cool you know at whatever age you can be large and in charge and fashionable all right the next brand is Jen Lee I don't know if anyone has heard of this brand before but I have been eyeing her stuff for years so she specializes in resort wear and her bags are exquisite so this is one of them it's called the Tulum tote I think it is in my mind so gorgeous so simple but very eye-catching at the same time so it's got leather and it's got the straw detail looks very airy and fresh perfect for vacation all of her handbags are made in bali so they're all handmade by local artisans in bali they create a livelihood for locals there and look at this artistry look at the craftsmanship it's beautiful and it's so authentic and so unique and different and I just I'm um, I really want to have one of her pieces so this is another one of her bags I, I didn't memorize all the names but you can look at her website just so pretty look at this tote I think maybe this is called the Tulum tote don't quote me on the names but I want everything literally I want everything that she offers just I just feel like it's so timeless and anywhere you go if you're going on a warm vacation you can grab any one of her pieces this one's in black it's very striking 
I know you can see your stuff on the inside, but you can just use a little pouch and put it in. Look at this. You can hang your sunglasses on. I love it. I love it. She's also introduced some jewelry recently, so that's kind of newer to her brand and very, very delicate and pretty. Here it is again, some bracelets and necklaces. This brand's aesthetic really speaks to me and they've got little pouches like this it's kind of like a toiletry pouch looks like it may come with a little wristlet as well and they also have resort wear so beautiful soft linens breezy shirts and dresses i every time i go onto this website i'm literally like ooing and eyeing over everything so basic but not basic do you know what i mean it feels like it's elevated the prices are really good and i don't know every bag i see every accessory i see i'm like oh i want that the only thing is these are clearly for vacation so i live in a four season city in new york i would have to put these away for majority of the time but i am close to pulling the trigger all right, the last brand that I want to introduce to you guys is called Cezanne and it's a Parisian brand and I have already purchased a couple of items from them, not handbags, but a few articles of clothing and maybe next time I will wear them and take a mod shot and post it for you guys, but their handbags are also beautiful. Again, very classic silhouettes here, smooth leather, gorgeous hardware. I love this snakeskin one. It's probably not my usual aesthetic, but it's done so nicely. It looks really, really gorgeous and elegant. This is another brand where I go onto their website and I literally want everything. So very, very Parisian chic. So this is another one of their bags on the model and it's got the caramel brown. This is another one of their bags. Forgot the name of this one. The first one was called the Milo bag, but this one is larger. It's kind of got like a messenger style, beautiful suede and leather detail with the toggle opening which i think is super cute and it's got some details on the front here's the back i don't know guys like i i love this brand so far i have i think three sweaters from them and i really am happy with them and every single bag that i see i'm like oh my gosh can i justify getting one um this one is really definitely catching my attention you can see by the number of photos i've included here and here it is from the front i think it's the color combo and the dimension that you see with the suede detail and again that toggle this one for sure has to be one of my favorites it's got the lizard embossed leather and i just feel like it looks so fabulous but also understated and then here's another one that's a lighter color combo just so pretty even the straw one i mean i know this is more seasonal but this silhouette is just forever right it's forever you can't say that this is going to be trendy that it's going to go out of style this is beautiful i can see myself wearing a bag like this for many 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 years here's another bag that's kind of like a duffel style and i don't know even though it's so simple something about it looks so rich and well done and yeah i'm interested this one too the tote i don't know if this is canvas or felt with leather but it's really pretty and the pockets look really deep even the label is pretty you guys <laughs> i'm like all about the details so i have to tell you the sweaters that i purchased i'm really happy with their clothes are also calling my attention so um not just sweaters but dresses and their pants and they've got some um like linen suit separates but i'll just give you a sampling here really really pretty i am headed out to paris with my family next week and uh, i'm not going to do a whole lot of shopping but cezanne has several boutiques in paris so definitely on my list to visit and i may come back with some goodies so stay tuned because then i will have an unboxing for you guys it's just a couple of their stores looks so beautifully curated even the store aesthetics are calling me 
So these are the four high value brands that I'm really excited about exploring. I'm curious to know if there was one particular brand that really caught your attention in today's video. Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks so much for watching and stay tuned. I may have some fun unboxings and goodies to share with you after I return from my trip. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.